Hi guys, welcome. Come on in. Bell Me Cherry here. So excited. Today is a continuation of our TJ Maxx and Marshalls trip. Um, Saturday, yesterday, and I am gonna, I got tired when I came home and I really wanted to deliver that video immediately on Saturday. So I didn't, um, pursue with the overall haul of, um, the goodies that I did get from TJ Maxx and Marshall. So I'm here to share that with y'all. I, I can't wait to share with you guys what I got. So if you are interested in seeing the goodies that I put my hands on this week at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, stay tuned and watching. Enjoy. All right. Um, we did spot a couple of goodies, but to, to start, I did grab me originally i had um bought the day cream and night cream of the besame line right um i'm using those they're very rich for my skin type as i put the day cream on today with my skin i'm used to using a lot of lighter cream based product this is great by the way however i a little bit goes a long way and to distribute that little bit all over the face i because it's so thick i maneuver it with some serum very light like like water type of serum and distribute that all over and i'm left with a nice glowing refreshing skin or moisturized skin for the day i'm loving that product so i went and got me the vanishing cream that we saw from the trip and also the cold cream the cold cream is a brightening cleanser with coconut oil and vi vitamin e i normally use coconut oil for removing of my um makeups and all, makeup and all so this is great this is in a cream form rub it in and put it all over the face distribute it melt into i guess the warmth of my skin melt everything all together with the makeup and then wash it off and then after that i go in with my um micellar micellar water and um call it a day and do my moisturizing or night cream or whatever right and we got the vanishing cream as well this is a primer so this would be a moisturizer a much this is a moisturizing primer with middle middle foam seed oil and vitamin a and the day cream is also moisturizer with centella asiatica vitamin c ester and hyaluronic acid so all that goodies thank god it not repeated ingredients on here so that adds a bonus um onto my daily moisture when i'm wearing makeup which is great this is it i haven't opened it yet but i mean i'm gonna use it today their products have like a very earthy scent to it i love that like you know when the rain is pouring down on dry land and that odor you feel you smell i love 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 me that that um aroma from the earth so that's what i feel that's what i noticed from the the scent on top of that i grabbed me a y'all see i went crazy for this she makeup palette uh they were everywhere tj maxx and marshall's everywhere i saw them i have a vibe of cara palette from this cara beauty palettes from this i'm gonna look that you know look him up closer i do compare care beauty to um color pop because color pop has taken over the you know taking over everything producing um products every two weeks or so um but the formula from some of my care beauty palettes or definitely like the the color pop um shadows so i'm gonna check to see if this is true of my vibe and i'll let you guys know definitely these are the shades 
beautiful color range um some neutrals some bright colors and mostly neutrals and some shimmers on here um let's dig and try and see let's do a little a light swatching of this does this bend no it doesn't it does come up with a nice mirror on the inside we can dig into some shimmers and some mattes okay let's try some of these shimmers we're gonna go they have this blinding silvery shade here and some greens um this shimmer green this palette unlike the other one that i was excited for does not have names to the shadows i knew it you see this is that green there's like a white silver a white shimmer I don't want to say silk well it's silvery and there's like another silver on here you see the difference this is more grayish than the first one blightening they feel so smooth they're not heavy and the they're not you know chunky with the shimmers let's try some matte ones and see how that delivers i'm gonna try a deep brownish oh my god they let's see it right here this is it like a reddish burgundyish brown this is another one okay 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 i can't see i i feel so awkward with swatches like this um there's a much lighter beigey one mustardy shade I have oil on my skin so perhaps that kind of this one matches me perfectly you could barely see it but that could be a really nice transition color let's see if we could try another shimmer there's the burgundy one right here and a gold one and a this weird weird color here like bronzy type of shade this gold is popping they feel so smooth they they are smooth as I am swatching them I can't wait to play around with them as well look at this bronzy shade melt into the skin I cannot wait you guys I cannot wait so we definitely create a look with this palette this is gonna be the palette I'm gonna work with today so stay tuned and see how it shows up on the eyes can't wait to, to try those this one was how much $7.99 not expensive at all then I did grab me the dragon beauty translucent setting powder for some reason I'm surprised I was able to find you know what i'm not surprised i know exactly why these darker shades are more available than the lighter skin one perhaps but then again um i'm glad i was able to find it i don't care for the reason behind it i all i want me is some you know new products and good products if it's good i'll use it definitely and i will put that to the test on my look today and do check out that video coming ahead and i am so thrilled to find these revolution palettes i went crazy for them i wanted to get this one and that one this one is the enchanted forest i did go crazy and for their deadly desire you guys did see that video i created a look formula of the shades were beautiful I was super in love. I mean, I fell in love with the this particular Forever Flawless formula palette. 
Um, so I I had to get me, me these palettes because I know they're not going to disappoint. These colors are super, they're not like one of my common shades. Very, very grungy purples, grungy um, blues and greens and oh my God, this grungy, is this green, blue or what, or gray? I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. You guys, you see? Like, this is what I mean. The Revolution brand are either hit and miss. We all know that. I, you know, mention that a lot on my, on this channel. But when they're good, they're good. You got to give it to them. And the, the formulas on these type of palettes are definitely good. So this is that. And then we got the Midnight Rose. Which I really, from the palette, I expected more reddish berryish tones however i don't see a gold why would i have a gold here there's no place for that gold i really wish there was a really popping red on here like this red i'm not sure if it's popping enough doesn't seem to be and there's also an orangey red on here It feels different from that grungy grayish shade that I tried that I just showed you guys, but um just wanted to get it. The roses, the packaging is super super nice. And we couldn't leave the ice palette behind. Why would I do that? This is the ice palette. This is more subtle with the you know design on the packaging, but this, these blues. This is what I mean. I wish they were like popping red on the um, Midnight Rose palette like this one. This is more cool tone shades on here. However, these blues are popping. There's that, that this icy um, silvery shade on here. Oh my God, let me wipe my finger. So there's that blue and there's this icy silver reshade you guys see do you guys see the blue feels a little dry but that gray you guys could see that it just glide on effortlessly beautiful beautiful i can't wait to try them um what else did i get revolution also dropped a whole bunch of brow products on us this week around i did get me the dog brown um brow pencil or brow crayon and this one kind of have like the brush on the back of it i think um nyx did come out with a oh but packaging though is better than nyx of course this is so nice super nice and it has this little brush at the end and this is yeah this is like a crayon i did love me their brow pencil from um alta and i'm sure this may not, this won't disappoint packaging is stunning i did get also the laminated bra which is like a gel um consistency ash brown why is this ice brown when they're showing it clear on here so it comes like this right oh there's also some oh, i don't know if this color is gonna work for me i didn't notice that they had colors i it's brown but it's this is it right here yeah, it could work. We're gonna make it work. Comes at an angle. This one from swatching it feels much drier than the regular pencil. And this is what I'm talking about with brow pencil. This is what I did get from um, Alta. Y'all see, beautiful and it's very smooth, not too creamy, not too dry, doesn't tuck on the skin. I could definitely make the best of these products. Can't wait to put them to use. And I also grabbed me some of their mascara. 
this one is the lifting mascara curl elevation okay and also the make make effect mascara i will try both of them and see which one works best with my crazy lashes and then you guys get to see what else did i get what else what else that's about it i will get down and dirty with these products do wait do stay tuned for that look face look using these products and um i won't hesitate to let y'all know which you know which is good which is not and um and then we'll call it a day so i hope you guys enjoyed this trip around because i definitely did i got me some goodies and um i'll see you guys on the next one happy sunday stay tuned